Hey FishTube, Steven here with a review of the Current Serene Standalone Background Kit. You might have seen this on actual popular channels such as AquaPros. It's been out for quite some time, but now I have it, so I'm going to talk about it. Of course, Current did not pay me or send me this for free. That would be a very poor marketing decision on their part. This review just focuses on the background lighting, which you can pick up for about 50 US dollars, whereas the full kit ranges from $150 to over 200 depending on size. Because the full kit has an overhead light, speakers, and an all-in-one remote to control lighting scenes. The background kit comes with the LED tube, translucent background material, remote, and a couple of mounting options. But if you are buying from Amazon, make sure you get the right version. There is a separate listing for the background light that does not come with the controller. That means you need to already have a current serene light that comes with the controller and the all-in-one remote, or else you won't be able to use it. The light has several settings, and if you want to see them without me yammering over it, you can skip to the end, whatever time you see on the screen right now. Mounting it with the bracket is pretty easy. The suction cups might work on the right surface, but I had some trouble getting them to stay on the bottom rim of this Aquion tank. Seems to be a common problem based on other reviews. I just went with the brackets, which you can mount with the included double-sided sticky pads or with screws. I decided not to put screws through my tank rim. Oh, and a note on this, when I was filming, I forgot to attach the clips to the brackets. The clips do come off the suction cups and connect to these brackets here. Um, you can see two different mounting locations for them. I ordered the 36 to 48 inch model. It's a little short of 36 inches for this 40 breeder. Something tells me it would be a little underpowered for a four foot tank, so I'd recommend the 48 to 60 inch version for longer tanks. You know, just like overhead aquarium lighting, a 24 to 36 inch light just means a 24 inch light with expanding brackets. The translucent background that comes with the kit is of course oversized, you just cut it to fit the back of your tank. Worth noting though that the amount of background they provide is not quite enough for a do-over on a 40 breeder, so measure twice. I really like the background material, it's heavy duty and super easy to put on, all you need is tape, which is good because most people would need to move the tank to do anything beyond that and you know what a pain that can be. And also if you're liking this content so far, throw me a like and a subscribe. Now for the awkward transition to the next video segment. Transition. Yeah. Now the remote is infrared, so make sure you keep the sensor somewhere in line of sight. I just used a piece of double-sided tape and mounted it to the side of the stand. I do recommend mounting it horizontal like this because the USB connection is not very strong. The remote gives you a choice of three distinct color modes. You can continuously rotate between RGB, red, green, blue spectrum like you're seeing here, or you can fade between two colors. And now, as I mentioned, I'll show them at the end of this video. For the color fade, you have five options here. Be sure to memorize which is which because these colors on the buttons are not accurate. First is purple to green, then red to orange, blue to aqua, red to blue, and purple to green. Or you can just keep it a static color using one of two methods. First is using this six button combination. Basically, pick a starting color, add or subtract red, green, blue incrementally to find your desired look. The controls don't allow for RGBW, meaning red, green, blue, and white, so it does limit your ability to really play with the tone and color saturation. But these six buttons give you a pretty good range of color options. Just play around with them and you're bound to find something you like. For example, to get a midday clear sky, you might go with the base blue and a few notches of green to make it a little more aqua, which lightens it up some. Lovely. And now we can save it to memory by holding this M button down for five seconds. The second method is simpler, especially if you're just looking for the perfect static color to set it and forget it. We'll switch to RGB rotation again, and as soon as you see the color you want, press and hold this M button for five seconds and it's saved. It will overwrite any other color you've saved. The remote also has a dimmer button. Uh, not a lot of control here. There's full brightness and half brightness. So what do you lose by not buying the full kit? A lot of ambiance. You see, the driving purpose of this kit existing is, well, serenity. Unless you have the full kit, you won't get the audio feature. 
It has speakers that play various relaxing or nature sounds for binaural therapy, and it syncs up with a programmable overhead light. Current actually has a wide array of lights, including some for planet tanks and an entire collection of marine lights, which are all equipped to interface with the background, light, and speakers, which uh, you can purchase a la carte. So it's really up to you. The speakers for me, just not my thing. It might be something you want though, or at least the ability to hook up some of your own speakers when you feel like it. And as for the light, I can't really see myself giving up this Fluval 3.0. If I were starting this tank from scratch and wanted to get the full Serene experience, I'd probably grab their Serene Sun Pro overhead light, which is made for planet tanks, plus this background kit and probably get a different pair of speakers from somewhere else. No offense to current, but the, their speakers are $15 and I have a feeling you get what you pay for. If you are like me and already have a light, you can still create some really cool effects if your light is dimmable, and even better if you can control the spectrum. Dim warm lighting with an orange background gives you a nice sunset effect. Then you can lighten up the orange uh, with a little cooler overhead lighting, and you have a sunrise. And my lights are already programmed to do this every morning and evening anyway. Some other things to think about. The background is going to reveal everything that's sitting up against the back of your tank, like airline tubing and cords, so make sure your cable management is up to snuff. Then there's the hang on back filters, of which I have two. There's not much you can do to hide them, other than what I'm intending to do, which is just grow some plants in front of them. Though it might be time to make some logical changes to my filtration. If you have any other suggestions on hiding filtration, please leave me a comment. I would love to hear your ideas. If I could change one thing about this background kit, it would be the addition of one feature, automation. I would love to be able to program an orange sunrise for the morning that slowly transitions to blue sky during the day, transitioning again to sunset colors in the evening. Even with the full kit, only the overhead light has timer settings. Maybe I'm spoiled by the Fluval 3.0 and even some of my smart bulbs, but it is really nice to control and automate them with an app on my phone. And these days, Wi-Fi enabled lighting is pretty cheap, so I'd say now is the time to start putting Wi-Fi radios and aquarium lights. So what do I think overall? I like it. Even with just the standalone background, you can really transform the look of your tank, whether you want some color therapy in your life or just to grab the attention of anyone who sees the tank. In my opinion, this is for an aquarium meant to be seen by more than just your household in a relaxing environment. So the living room here is the family room. You know, it's gonna be where guests are. It's also where we as a family eat dinner because the dining room is more of a fish room now, but that's another story for another day. Leave a comment with your thoughts on this setup. Which colors look best to you? Maybe you have one of these yourself, but wait because I can't leave well enough alone, I had to make some enhancements. If you want to see how I added some more dynamic and programmable lighting effects for about 20 bucks and some really bad DIY, keep an eye out for that video. And if you like this kind of content, I would appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. I'm not really trying to monetize here, but it would be nice to feed on the attention of a bigger audience. I'll shut up now and you can enjoy the various color shifting modes.